Hey, what's going on, the youth pastors? Paul Turner here from the DiscipleProject.net here with another video for today, but it's a special video today. Uh, if you don't know, I recently went over 1,000 videos here on YouTube, and uh, that's a lot of videos. Uh, and I thought, well, it'd be fun to show you the very first public video where I did a training or talked about something that was going to be of value to you. And I thought, well, I've not seen it. So I thought we'd go over there and take a look at it. Before we do, though, if you're brand new here to the channel, thank you so much for checking it out. Appreciate you being a part. If you want videos like this in your inbox on a regular basis, well, go ahead and click that subscribe button down there. And that's exactly what you will get. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, video here. And this video is, let's see here if I can bring this up here. Uh, it is uh, from, is 11 years ago. It has a whopping 83 views, if you can, if you can see that. Uh, and it is about, uh, there was a time when I was working for a company uh, called Interlink. And, uh, and, and we would write Bible studies uh, and used to get these big pizza boxes of CDs uh, as a youth pastor. And it would come with these written Bible studies and I would write some of the Bible studies. So on this particular, one of the very first trainings I ever did uh, was I talked about a interlink uh, switchfoot study that I did. So let's go ahead and just take a look at it and uh, watch a little bit. And uh, that's the logo for interlink there. And like I said, I'll commentate a little bit through it uh, just so you, you have context for that. Like I said, this is 11 years ago. So I was just had a birthday. So I was 44 years old. Let's take a look at the magic of this very first uh, <laughs> this very first video uh, from 11 years ago. Okay, hey everybody, my name is Paul Turner, and I'm one of the writers for uh, Interlink Online uh, Bible Studies. And uh, in recent issue, I was able to do the writing for uh, the new Switchfoot album in, in number 87. And I wanted to talk to you a little today uh, about why I was so thrilled to get the Switchfoot album. I had heard some samples of it. And, uh, and things like that. And I was just, uh, first of all, I was a Switchfoot fan, which, which was obviously helpful. But I was all... I, I tell you what, and I am still a Switchfoot fan. Uh, the best Switchfoot album, by the way, is Vice Versus, in my opinion. I just think when I heard that, when I heard the Vice Versus album, it, re it brought me back to like when, when a band hits, a, hits, a, hits their stride and hits that album. It was like, it was like U2's Joshua Tree to me. So... Uh, doing this study for Switchfoot was uh, was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm trying to remember. I, hopefully, I mentioned the album. I, I wonder if this is the Vice Versus album. It could be. Uh, but look how young I am. Look how young and beautiful. And look at all that hair. <laughs> look at all that hair there. Uh, yeah, this is a short video. So, like I said, I'm, I'm going to try to keep uh, my commentary short. But, to, like I said, to give you context, you can see, terrible video. Whatever I was using for my video camera, I can't even tell you. I had it hooked up. I'm down in my basement somewhere, which was actually a little, it was in another house that I'm in right now, that I'm a uh, different house that I'm in right now. Uh, as you can see, I've got my CDs behind me. i uh, got some stuff on the wall there. Uh, tried to make it as decorative as possible. But let's continue. So thrilled with just the, uh, the, the direction and the energy they gave and the whole vibe. And I'll be honest with you, uh, it brought me back to when I was 15, 16 years old, and uh, I heard the uh, the Joshua Tree album from U2, and uh, I really... Well, well, there you go. Confirmed. I still believe the same thing. I, I, like I said, I had no idea what I was saying in this video, but clearly is the Vice Versus album, so carry on. And I get the same vibe off this album. I really think this is uh, Switchfoot's Joshua Tree album in some ways. And so when I was listening to it, it really kind of just made me um, uh, reflect on that. And so uh, it made it really easy, Switchfoot made it really easy to to, uh, to write studies for it because they were very uh, graphic with it. They were very graphic and used uh, uh, images and things like that. And, and that really resonated inside my head and really resonated with young people, uh, you know, whether it's where, where I Belong or Thrive or uh, uh, some of the other great songs on the album. Um, you know, that, uh, that they did, they just brought great pictures, even, even songs like selling the news, which is a very contemporary issue. And that's another thing I liked about the switchfoot album is that it was a, a very contemporary album, but it feels like it's uh, really brand new for each of the albums. Uh, and when you're listening to it, you just feel like, how do you like those graphics? <laughs> I don't even know what I was using for editing back then. I think I was using iMovie on, on the Mac and 
Once again, if you've seen my recent videos, you know I'm a little bit better. Clearly, I'm, I'm using technology. So I like to see that I've advanced in the technological realm uh, and that I have, uh, <laughs> you know, that I have uh, made progress. I like to think I made progress. And so, yeah, the selling the news, if you go back and listen to that, that's, uh, that's very uh, prophetic. Uh, you know, as well as pro it was probably not just prophetic. It was probably just a commentary on the times, but even more so now about selling the news. Um, best song on there, and I'll mention this probably in here now that I'm thinking about it. I'll probably mention Restless, which is a great song for contemplation, a great song for young people. So if you ever need a song uh, for contemplation, Restless is a great song. Let's carry on. You're living in um, the things world like we're dark today. horses, you know, dark horses. Uh, you know, I looked up the meaning of that and the root and where it came from and things like that. And uh, and, and really dark horses are those those uh, uh, those people that you tend to count out, those people that you say, you know what, they, they may or may not make it. They're, they're kind of like a surprise. And and, and for that, I chose, uh, you know, I chose somebody uh, like um, uh, obviously like Peter. Uh, who, you know, who was kind of the dark horse of the disciples. You kind of got a feeling that he could go somewhere, he could be somebody, and then you also got that feeling that, well, we don't know what's going to happen. He, he, if he gets it together, if he does this, and, you know, he could go far in life. And obviously, uh, we're glad that Peter did. So, um, so every one of the studies that I wrote has a character study, because I learned a long time ago that in the minds of students, we should do our best to build art galleries uh, not debating chambers and the art galleries obviously it fills it up with pictures and light yeah i still i still believe that by the way we're, we're building art galleries not debating chambers we're trying to we're trying to convey the image of christ not create this inner uh constant uh debating uh, but rather uh you know show students who you know through our messages through our meetings things like that to be able to show who christ is so and things like that versus debating chambers, which really focuses on a whole lot of other things that you may not be able to decide on. But for a student to learn, really grasp the concept of the song, it's really good to add the uh, the character study to it so they can relate this person maybe to this song and kind of what they're what they're shooting for. And Switched uh, Foot has already done, like I said, has already done a great job of painting the picture uh, of the very songs. One of my favorite songs, uh, Restless. I think that just speaks to everybody from St. Augustine, you know, uh, that I'll... Just continue to be restless until I find myself in you, and uh, and so in doing that, I really found uh, that Switchfoot really did uh, did the job for me. That as I listened to the music, I began to think of people and places and things within the scriptures uh, that I really thought would resonate. I, 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 there's music playing behind. It. I don't even know how I did that. I, I think I, once again through iMovie, I figured that out. So my hope is that I, you know, in this video, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to monetize this video, so it, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to care whether they you know, put a strike on me or whatever, but at least hopefully this is a, this is considered a commentary video, right? So let's carry on. With, uh, with our students and that hopefully would resonate with your students. So uh, thank you, Interlane, for giving me the opportunity to write uh, for the Bible study. And also uh, thanks to all of you. And we hope that you're going to go out and you're going to get uh, Interlink number 87. It has some great studies to it. Uh, not just mine, but a host of other authors. Uh, the worship section is great. And so I want to thank you for the opportunity to serve you and serving the youth uh, ministry community. And uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks. Well, well, look at that. How about that? That's a, uh, that is uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool. I, I like to, uh, just looking at that brings back memories. Uh, it was a great opportunity to work with Interlink um, as a company. And the great people there, Alan Weed and other people that I work with. But listen, you tell me, how did this, uh, how did this video age for you? Is this, uh, once again, if you're an OG and you've been following me for a while, maybe you've seen this video. Maybe you've been there from the very beginning. Uh, but once again, for those of you that are brand new, uh, just a flashback as to my journey uh, in putting up content here. Uh, as you can see, like I said, I like to think that I've advanced a little bit. I mean, got a new mic. <laughs> I did some, you know, upgraded a few things. Uh, but yeah, but that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you liked the little flashback. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's why I kept making all these videos, because you guys kept watching and kept uh, 
uh, participating in those kind of things. So uh, be sure if you uh, like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It tells me you like the video and you want more like them. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one, everybody. Talk to you later.